Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Tyrannus Senpai, and welcome back to yet another uh, episode of Tyrannus Senpai's Toy Reviews. And today, we got yet another package from the beautiful Marco Mix and Matisse Borillo, who is in collaboration with Marco Mix with making what we're unboxing today. Now, if you remember, <laughs> it's only been... Right now, it's Monday. And I've recorded the Dilophosaurus unboxing on Friday, so it's only been a couple days since I got this Dilophosaurus. And now I'm getting what's in this package. Well, Tyranno Senpai, what's in this box? Well, we're about to find out. Now, if of course you couldn't tell by this package, it's the stuff that's inside is very small, and I imagine quite fragile, so I'm going to be very careful with trying to open this, so time to break out the scissors! <laughs> Alright, Mark, let's see what I, let's see what I also got from Marco Makes. Uh -huh. <sighs> now it's all stuck in the middle. This is why I don't like tape. It always becomes increasingly difficult. Maybe I should just consider getting a box cutter now. Oh, and just like last time, we got a note from Mr. Kavasa about all this stuff. I'm gonna, I know I read it last time, I'm gonna do it again. Dear subscriber, thank you for purchasing this model. By doing so, you are contributing to my channel and helping it evolve and improve the quality of my videos and of my work. I hope you enjoy this model, which was made with care. There have been many hours of sculpting and many years of experience studies behind the making. Thanks for your support. Marco Mix on YouTube, Marco Gavasa on Instagram, and Marco Mix on Facebook. There you go. Now, I, a little bit, I will say, before we actually do open this box, um, I think I was actually one of the first people to order these because as soon as the video premiered for what we're unboxing now, as soon as that video ended, it's like, okay, go, 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 go. And I legitimately think, if I wasn't the very first person, I might have been very close. I'm not so sure. But we'll find out, won't we? So let's go ahead. And this time, there's no styrofoam. It's actually paper. So let's see what... Ooh, I can already see the stuff here at the bottom. It's all covered in plastic wrap, but we got two. And this makes three. Of course, some paper at the bottom, but nothing else there. And like the last thing, they're covered in bu bubble wrap. Let's go ahead and... Ah, uh, now that is satisfying to look at. But we'll deal with that later. I'm assuming this is... Yeah, it is. We're definitely going to need the camera to pick up all the good te details on these. Because... Oh, mm, oh, my lord. Alright, let's... Open the final seal that's keeping these babies in. Still got, still got some... Bits and bulbs here and there. Nothing that I can't fix. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the, what I ordered in the mail. Ooh, but first, business card. Matis Boreo Design. Designer and Stampator 3D. There's his email and his phone number, apparently. Alrighty then. So these tiny little beauties is what I ended up getting from the mail. We have what Marco makes is calling minisaurs, and we have an Allosaurus, a T-Rex, and a Velociraptor. And oh my lord, these things pack so much detail in such a tiny little figure. Um, and of course they're not in scale with each other, but the, I don't think that's the point of these things. But, oh, man, they are so tiny. But at the same time, they have such great detail. Like, I'm... 
It's so good. <laughs> Look at all of these guys. They're itty bitty, but they're all so detailed. Oh, oh, they're so good. So I guess first things first. Uh, why did the camera stop focusing? Focus camera, focus, thank you. I think the first thing we're going to do is actually take a look at these guys um, very closely. See what kind of details they're rocking. And we'll start with the Allosaurus here. It's it's modeled after the one from Battle at Big Rock, as you can tell, because there's spine, very pronounced spines along its back, and the crest is shaped much more like an Allosaurus and like unlike the juvenile that we saw god that design was so awful and of course with the palms facing each other like it did in the movie focus camera there you go there you go i know you could do it now i'm not sure if you can make out the finer details but they are definitely there if you look close enough you can see muscle tone you can see like the creases in the skin um you can see like all kinds of little details and look at those claws on there if the camera will focus for me look at those little itty bitty claws on their hands i'm amazed they haven't broken off in like transit ow i got caught on one of the claws there ow i, mm, I got caught on another one but look at the details on this little miniature here um yeah like oh, i'm falling in love with this it's, it's definitely made out of some sort of hard material. It's resin. It, I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of something like I see in Warhammer or something like that. Like the little miniature citadels or whatever. This reminds me of it. And the detail that's packed into this little itty bitty figure, it's amazing. And of course, on the bottom, we have the... We have. I'm gonna try to see which one, which way is upside down. Marco makes insignia and the Matis Borio uh, insignia at the bottom of the base. Now you might be wondering why these are white. It's because you're supposed to paint these things yourselves, and that's something I'm actually quite excited about. I'm definitely gonna try to paint these guys. I'm actually. I might actually do that on a live stream. I just need to get some paints before I do that. Otherwise, it'd be really awkward having three blank miniatures. And of course, I'm going to try to paint them to look like they do in the movies. So we'll see how that turns out. But with this much uh, detail on such a small little figure, it's going to be kind of hard to do. But I think I can do it. And then next up, we got the Velociraptor from Jurassic World. And I'm going to assume just by looks that... The best way to do this one is to either make it like blue or echo because uh, blue and echo don't have the crest on their snouts like Charlie and Delta and oh look at the details on this you can see like the wrinkles just by looking at the back and the tail and you could if you can make out the eye right there it's big you can see it I can also see lips and the nose Look at those little itty bitty claws. Oh man, they look so good. And then of course we've got the killer claw of the raptor up there raised up like it's ready to attack something. And on the back we see more of the detail there. We can see like the ridge of the spine and the more wrinkles and things like that. We can see like segments in the tail. The base, not much to talk about. I will admit, a bit uneventful down there. But of course, at the bottom, again, we have the Marco Makes and Matis Boreo insignia down there. Oh, man. Now, again, not to really crap on Mattel, but they did kind of have stuff like this with the, like, mystery bags and stuff. Why didn't they do something like this? Like, have miniature dinosaurs for adults, but make them, like, come on, camera, focus on me. Focus. Focus, thank you. Why can't they, like, do this? Like, it's hard uh, resin. Make them blank so adults can paint them. It's fun for everyone. That'd be really neat. Not, not even kidding you. But yeah, I just love the look at this raptor. 
It looks so good. I'm definitely gonna be painting this one to look like blue. Not only because she's my favorite out of the Raptor Squad, but also I think it. I think Marco intended it to, uh, for it to be blue uh, the whole time. So I think this is that's what I'm gonna end up doing. And all the little details on. I'm looking at the leg, and I can see very faint markings there, that like to show the leg detail. Oh. You're so beautiful. I love you. And then last on the list, we have a T-Rex. So this one um, I am going to complain a little bit about because when it came out, there was this weird growth on its teeth. And another one here that I cut off um, in the muscle with the jaw. I might be able to file that maybe. But otherwise, uh, this is a great looking model. Obviously, this is the Jurassic World T-Rex, uh, Rexy. And look at the detail she's rocking here. And look at the little teeth. This is the only uh, miniature with its mouth open too. Which would probably explain why I had those weird growths in her mouth. And look at that head on. Ah, oh, that's gonna look so good when it's painted. And I don't really see if I can make out any scars, because I'm not really seeing them. I think you actually have to paint those on, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but this is definitely a great looking T-Rex. I can see the rib cage. I can see the like, folds of skin and the scales and the little wrinkles in the skin. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I think that out of all the poses, this T-Rex is obviously the most dynamic of the bunch. Because we have the Allosaurus, right? But it's just kind of standing there doing now. And then we have the Velociraptor, which, again, not much to say about there. It's just kind of just looking around. But this T-Rex here... It's doing like the classic roar and everything. It looks so good. I love the design of this T-Rex uh, miniature. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Obviously, I can't talk much about like paint-wise because there is no paint to, to talk about. But in terms of sculpt, this is amazing, and the like the fact that they put so much detail on like something so ridiculously tiny, it blows my mind. That like I feel like the Jurassic community, uh, in terms of figures and things like that, they're giving us great stuff, but nothing like this. This is the stuff that people really want. Rubber dinosaurs like the Dilophosaurus that I got and these little miniature guys. Oh, it's so fun. And look at that. I can see like the little crocodile skin detail like on the stomach. If the camera will focus. Why are we having such problems today, camera? There you go. You can see it right there. By Marco makes insignia and the Matis Boreo insignias. Oh. God, it's amaze balls. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun painting this these guys, but I'm not gonna have as much fun as trying to file these weird like looking growths off of the T-Rex. I'm gonna try my best not to break it because these teeth look like they're really delicate and I don't want to end up breaking any of them. But otherwise, yeah, this is this is gonna be a fun time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to do a video of me painting them because that would take a long while. I think what I might end up doing is actually live stream me painting these. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do that. It might be a while because I don't have the paint that I need. I like to use the Arteza brand paints, the same one that Marco makes these use. Marco, Marco makes his what the frick? The same... Um, paint Marco makes uses uh, in his rubber sores and of course the ones he used when he painted his mini sores in the premiere that'd be something to look forward to but anyway you guys just kind of a brief unboxing video like to break up everything I think I have one more uh, package I'm expecting but it's not from Marco makes it's actually from 
uh, someone different. And I think I'm excited about that as much as I am seeing these guys. But anyway, you guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video and I hope you'll catch me in the live stream when I do paint these guys eventually. And if I remember correctly, there is a wave two of these guys already coming out. We got a Sinoceratops, we got a Gallimimus, and a Sick Triceratops of all things. <laughs> so yeah, we got a lot to look forward to. The, like, uh, this is going to be a fun time for me, a dinosaur lover and an artist. Well, I wouldn't call myself like a really good artist, but I'm like, I can't wait to see like how these guys turn out. But anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyrannosephi signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.